Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, a few, few of you um, wanted another update and actually asked for a micro count in this wave C. I'm always extremely careful with micro counts because um, especially when things are moving very quickly in crypto, people then tend to maybe exit positions too early, things like that. Um, but a lot of you asked me how this move up can be counted. So we want to talk about that. Um, if you like to have an underst or get an understanding of the broader context, please check out my last video. This year is really only focused on the short term. Also, given the um, fact that we are now coming down here quite sharply, so we want to understand, okay, is it crashing down? What, what could happen now? Um, so the overall idea is that we could have started wave four. It's not entirely confirmed because... Um, this is the 50% FIB level support I gave you um, in previous videos that if broken is a first hint, a first suggestion that this fourth wave pullback has started. So honestly, in an ideal world, we will finally get a bit of a pullback here in a wave four. This will be the stress test for a bullish scenario in which we can move higher towards $55 next which is the 1.236 extension. But ideally, we first get into the region between $28.40 and $37. That's the idea and the ideal support for a fourth wave. And from this area, I would like to see it go higher in a fifth wave. This would be ideal. Um, and targets for the next move up start basically at $55. That's the 1.236 extension or $63 is another key one, or even $79. These are the next levels to watch. Should we be able to um, yeah, turn around in this support area, let's call it trend reversal area. But what I wanted to do is to really take a look here at the micro structure of this move here to the upside, which started on the 12th of October. So we obviously um, started actually down there in September with the low in the yellow count of a wave two. And it's an ABC structure in wave three because we're dealing with an overall diagonal. Again, this diagonal structure is very annoying. They always are. Um, all diagonals, also microstructures in crypto, they tend to be very sloppy and yeah, <laughs> not very clear. So just be aware of that. Um, we still give our best and a lot of you asked for it. So we, we want to take a look at the micro count also to understand, you know, could this C wave really be over? Have we fulfilled minimum requirements for a five wave structure? So that's what we need to understand because a C wave is a five wave move. And as soon as we have five waves complete, we can say, okay, we at least need to be watching for a pullback. Um, already explained to you in the previous videos that this was an ideal level to stop or slow down. $44 is the one-to-one -one ratio, the 100% extension between waves A and 3. And um, it, it's just a key level, to, yeah, sorry, between, one second, let me just double check that. Um, that was the, let me just double check that, which level, yeah, between wave one and three. So the one-to-one -one ratio, 100% extension, ideal level for a third wave or at least let's let's not call it the ideal level but i well the minimum yeah sometimes a wave three in a diagonal even goes a little higher possibly to the 1.236 therefore we want to still keep the door open for higher as long as we're holding above 38 dollars and 30 here the micro support below that level i will assume that wave four is running finally finally or unfolding okay now let's finally start to do the micro count here um, the idea would be that down there, and I think that is pretty clear, we have a 1-2 setup down here, which started on the 12th of October, 1-2. Now, um, I looked at this before the video, so we just want to label it together, but I would just label it, and then we look at the micro count, and I would explain to you my thoughts behind this. So, like that. So obviously we need to look for five wave move within wave C. Uh, typically the third wave would be the longest one. You can see that very clearly. Fifth waves seem to, um, well, at least in the altcoin sector, oftentimes get extended as well. The first wave is typically short in crypto. Now, a fourth wave is oftentimes a triangle. 
So this is how it is. Wave one, wave two, then we're looking for five waves in wave three here. Let's label that as well. I think this one is very clear, a wave one, a wave two. I will change the wave degree in a minute. Then we had here, again, five waves to the upside here in wave three, a small four, and then one, two, three, four, five, in wave five of three. So looking at this now, and we go to the smallest wave degree. Uh, you might hear the dog in the background. <laughs> Can't help it. So, um, okay, so the wave four would then have been a triangle pattern here, yeah? A, B, C, D, E. And then the fifth wave to the upside here, basically unfolding, yeah, you could say right now, possibly finished, right? Possibly finished. Um, again, micro count not extremely clear, but let's zoom out a second and you see the entire move up. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the way five is certainly long enough. Um, so, and I mean, looking at this, if we also add a micro count here, I mean, this also looks like a one, a two, then we have another one, two. This is where it's getting extremely sloppy, right? Uh, this is sometimes where in crypto you don't even really see properly the subwaves. So um, let's go to the 30 minute chart, 15 minute chart. And then when we talk about altcoins, it's very, very messy anyway. I mean, how would you label this, right? It's it's a bit. So one, two are uh, the only thing. So one, two. What I think is maybe this was a small one, too. And then we had a one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and this would be three, four. And then we had here, however you want to call it, I count this. I mean, one, two, three, four, and an extended fifth. That's not so important. I mean, we are really doing micro, micro, nano counting here. Just want to give you an idea, oops, of how this... Um, how this move up could be labeled because a lot of you asked for it. So, I mean, certainly we have five waves up in wave C. Um, the microstructure or nanostructure is anyway very difficult to understand in crypto, um, especially when things are very quickly moving, but we can still track some structures. Certainly that move down here would suggest, especially now that we try to break through here, would suggest that we are entering the orange support area and um, ideally this would take a little bit of time yeah ideally this would take a little bit of time to get a healthy way for it doesn't need to take that long you know this is disregard the timeline right but um ideally we are um testing 37 dollars next and then maybe even 32 and then you have an area here um that's around 31 32 dollars where we have a previous way for low oftentimes a larger degree fourth comes back to the previous lower degree fourth. So that's around $32. Yeah, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. If you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular stocks updates, check out our stocks and S&P update um, service. You'll find the link also in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.